unsere Konferenz ist die erste, die zu den SDGs in Deutschland stattfindet. Die Agenda 2030 steht für das Versprechen der Weltgemeinschaft, sich gemeinsam den Herausforderungen des 21. Jahrhunderts zu stellen. Bis 2050 müssen wir knapp 10 Milliarden Menschen die Möglichkeit geben, satt zu werden. Gleichzeitig sind unsere natürlichen Ressourcen begrenzt. Der Klimawandel gefährdet zunehmend diese kostbaren Ressourcen. Deswegen gehen wir in der Agenda 2030 diesen Herausforderungen auf einer neuen, auf einer globalen Ebene. We want you to join us in a discussion on how to best jumpstart the SDGs in Germany, beyond Germany. We have to realize that the process to negotiate sustainable development goals was coming from the global south, Colombia. They requested us in the industrialized and developed world to change our development pathways. Our development is not sustainable. And therefore Germany, as a highly industrialized country, exporting cars all over the world, consuming a lot of natural resources, has to make clear we want to change. Germany announced already in New York we will be one of the nine uh, countries in the world which have started with implementation first. The SDGs is a homework for the entire world. We all have to look at ourselves with criticism to, to see where are we lacking, what are we not doing. And the obligation that was made from these nine movers was to lead by example, uh, to take the first step. So far there has been a very high level political statement. We have the leaders of the governments, uh, and in some cases heads of states, taking the initiative. But it hasn't been translated into action. But it is challenging, um, because the, not least because the SDGs are very comprehensive. Uh, and there are different goal, uh, goal challenges, you could say, when you bring them down. Not just to local level, but really out in society. In the particular case of land and soil resources, that is a particular focus of the work of the ISS, you can see that by trying to achieve more food security, by trying to end hunger, you have to produce more, and at the same time, you have to protect these resources if you want to achieve a goal that aims to having a landing in the neutral world. So in this case, we're trying to focus on these concrete examples to show these trade-offs, and at the same time to try to find synergies. So there have the interlinkages between the goals have been acknowledged, but not have been subject to real debate and negotiation. So we need to find mechanisms now that allow us to actually support these more integrated approaches to implementing the 2030 Agenda or the SDGs. The Sustainable Development Agenda forces us to get into new partnerships that we're not used to before. So the society has to work much better with governments, it has to work much better with business. Partnerschaftsanbahnungen sind ein zentrales Instrument, wie Klaus Töpfer gesagt hat, raus aus dem Silo-Denken hinein in einen übergreifenden Austausch auf allen Ebenen. Wir haben in vielen Fällen gesehen, dass wir tatsächlich durch diese Stakeholder-Beteiligung bessere Politiken entwickelt haben. It's a process, and it's a process which requires a lot of checking and iterative learning, and it's a slow process. Partnerships are not necessarily easy, partly because they have to be based on a system of trust and codependence, and that's not always understood either by governments or um, by civil society. We need to take into consideration the historical relationship between the civil society organization and governments in most of our, our countries. Um, and clearly, most governments actually do not see the value for actually engaging um, with the civil society organization. The space for civil society is shrinking. Uh, we have seen that in the manner in which uh, governments have been responding to social protests that have to do with demands for socioeconomic rights. The protests that we're seeing across the region and across the continent has been violent. No matter what kind of partnerships the civil society does with the governments in, their, in its respective country, if this country does not respect 
and uphold human rights, then none of these SDG goals will come true. Monitoring and review is the only space where we can make sure that governments are doing what they're supposed to be doing, but also continuously improving. We will not be able to advance as quickly uh, on the implementation of SDGs, on the reduction or elimination of poverty, if we do not address issues of inequality. Es gibt also viele Hebel, die wir für eine nachhaltige Entwicklung bewegen können. Doch eines ist mir klar und sollte uns allen klar sein. Nur im Miteinander von Wirtschaft, Politik und Gesellschaft setzen wir die neuen globalen Entwicklungsziele tatsächlich nachhaltig um. Da gibt es keine Länder- und Sektorengrenzen. We need a new triple. Change our consumption and production patterns in Germany. Look at the external implications of our consumption and production. And thirdly, from a governance perspective, sustainability should be an integrated part of external relations, bilateral and multilateral relations of Germany.